Okay, guys, uh, let's continue. So I'm going to use copy. Right, there's another new term that uh, you'll be learning here. Okay, copy, and I will use lim dot begin. Right, and then lim dot end. Okay, and I'm gonna print it using cheng. Okay, in this case, right. So in this case, I do not need this for loop anymore. I'm gonna like throw the for loop away. And what happens here is, okay, I have O stream iterator, which is basically an output stream iterator used uh, to display all the numbers, right, one by one. And all the numbers to be displayed is of type integer. And this is the name of um, whatever so-called so aliases that you want to use to reference uh, whatever you, uh, I mean, you want to use in any part of your program. You can name it anything you want. For as long as it is alphanumeric, uh, not starting with numbers, just like a conventional identifier name. And the operation is C out, which is to display. And you want a space in between of every item in the DQ to be printed. And the function copy here is to copy this algorithm, okay, for lim.begin, beginning of the DQ, which is three, to lim.n the end of the DQ, which is nine, right? And I'm gonna print it using this O stream iterator, okay, right? Okay, so when I use O stream iterator, now I'm gonna run the program and you can see what I'm talking about. So do you see that the output is exactly the same? Okay, and it even like uh, make it easier for me. I can also have multiple O stream iterator. Okay. I can have another O stream iterator. I can name it something else. Like for example, this time I put a proper name display. Also of C out function. And instead of having just uh, a space, I would like a space and then a dash and then another space, right? And I want to print it twice. First, I'm going to copy and print using Chang. The other one I'm going to copy and print using display. And you will see what happened. Okay, so just to give you a better perspective, I'm going to put like an inline here. Okay, and run again. So can you see? The first line is 8539, it is printed using Chen, which is this one, a space in between. The second copy, I'm using display, which is going to be uh, going to be this O stream iterator. And I print the same exact number from the, the, the same DQ, but the way I display it is different by using a dash, okay? And that's how we do it. All right. Besides uh, doing that, I can also have a loop i equals to zero, maybe uh, i less than 10, okay? And then i plus plus. And for this for loop, all I want to do is, I'm going to push back all the number, lim.push back okay and let's say i want to push the value i therefore i'm going to push back zero and then i'm going to push back uh, uh zero one two three four five six maybe ten is too much so maybe until five so i'm going to push like zero one two three four to the back of the program i can use a loop and let's uh, see the differences okay uh, let's use uh, only display so here I'm going to print one line to show you that after I've inserted four values into the DQ and I'm going to print four values. Okay. And then I'm going to push back uh, five values, zero to four. And then I'm going to display it again to, to let you see the difference. Okay. All right. So run the program. Uh, sorry, I forgot the C out uh, <coughs> end line again. Okay, 
So I'm going to run this program again. So can you see the differences between the first line and the second line? Okay. First, I push front 3, push front 5, push front 8, then push back 9. Okay. And then I print it using display, okay, which is this old string iterator to be activated. And this is printed. Okay, right? And then I have another loop to continue the list. And by pushing back all the values, 0, push back 0, push back 1, push back 2, push back 3, push back 4. And I use copy again and display the values again. All right. So uh, another function that we can use here, okay, is this. Okay, I will have lim dot hop front. Okay, maybe I'll do that twice. And I'll pop back once. Okay. And then after that, I will display again and show you the difference. Okay. So what happens here is first I'm gonna I'm gonna like um, uh, push front and back, okay. The first line, then second line I use a loop to push back all the numbers. And then I use pop front. Pop front means delete from the front, okay? So I'm gonna like pop eight. And then pop front again, I'm going to pop 5, which means 8 and 5 will be deleted. Okay, and then I'm going to pop back, then 4 will be deleted. Okay, so if I run this program again, you can see that's exactly what happened. Okay, so first I push 3, 5, 8 to the front, and then I push 9 to the back. And then uh, I print the, uh, the, the, the list, the DQ list. And then I use a loop to push back 0 to, uh, to 4. Okay. Then I display the list, and this is the one. And then I pop front, pop front. So eight and five is being deleted from the front. Pop back once, so four is being deleted from the from from the back. And then I uh, print again, display. Okay, and uh, that's what we can do. Push front, push back, pop front, pop back. Uh, all stream iterator uh, using the copy function. Okay, copy is from algorithm. Ostrom iterator is from iterator, dq is from dq, and so on. There's one more thing that we can do is to manually change the value in the array. So what I can do is I can put here lim, okay? Let's say I want to change zero here, okay? Zero here is position number two. This is array zero, this is one, this is two, okay? So I'm going to change to, to maybe the value of... Uh, One thousand one. Okay, and I'm going to use the same uh, <clears throat> old stream iterator to print the value again, and you can see that zero will then be changed to one zero zero one. All right, can you see that zero is gone, and I have changed it to one zero zero one. So this is what DQ can do. So in the first uh, in the first uh, iteration, when I put three, five, eight, and nine, number eight is situated in index zero, and then the second one I added a few indexes at the end, and then when I pop front and pop front again, okay, first I'll pop eight, which means five will now becomes index zero. Then I pop five, then three becomes index zero, okay, and so on, right? So guys, this is a standard template library, DQ. It's a very simple one, okay? And it is very easy to use rather than using a lot of different pointers um, uh, previously. And after you have STL, things has never been easier. You just need to remember these few different functions, copy, uh, stream iterator, DQ, push front, push back, pop front, pop back, okay? And so on. So it's much easier to do double ended queue now. It's easy to do vector and link list as well, right? So guys, that is uh, it for STL, okay? Uh, double ended queue. And uh, I think uh, for the next video, we will be talking about file input and output. Till then, see you guys, bye-bye.